guys. Okay, welcome back to another video. <laughs> Look at my best right now. I just came back from the office. I've been there all week. Actually, the past two months. <laughs> I've been, just been living in the office. I have not checked in with you guys in a very long time, which is so not like me normally. If I'm not filming, I'm vlogging. I at least have like one vlog going on at all time and I just have not picked up the camera. And that's not what I was planning because I was planning on doing like 2020 one resolutions like a whole i was planning a lot of videos especially at the start of the new year and then the new year came and i my motivation just was it was so i was looking so forward to 2021 and then 2021 came and i went poop and i had no no motivation i just i don't know what it is like not that i don't have motivation because i do have motivation i just feel maybe overwhelmed like i have so much to do and the issue with me is that when i'm not filming I don't, I feel like I'm not working. Even when I'm at the office packing orders, even when I'm, you know, doing stuff for my jewelry line, it doesn't feel like work. And I don't know why, like I really only feel accomplished and working when I'm filming. So this whole past few weeks, I've just felt like I'm doing nothing and it's really playing with my mental health. So exactly a week ago, we launched our watch line which I'm actually wearing right now. I've been asked so many times about our watches and what watch I'm wearing over the past few months and I haven't been able to talk about it, but I did launch last Friday. I'm not kidding, I had tested probably 20 different samples and each sample cost like over $200 because I tested every possible different manufacturer and I don't even sell the watches for over $200. So it was a huge thing. I've been working on it for such a long time. I wanted them to be absolutely perfect and they are. Okay, so for example, this was one of our samples. So as you can see on the side, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the side is like not good. And then on the side of ours, it's very substantial. So like, when you feel it like this one feels very cheap and the watches we went with actually ended up costing us five times more than we first thought we would spend but we kept the price that we charged the same had a desired price and i wasn't gonna let you know i didn't want to have a super expensive outrageous watch i wanted everyone to be able to have this super luxurious look and feel of a watch without the in insane price Oof, okay sorry i had to feed leo He's had this like cough, which I feel really bad. And like, I'm not sure if I have to take him to the vet. He only had, he only developed it last night and it doesn't last for a long time. And I noticed that it mostly only happens when I like go to leave. Like today I was going to leave for work and all of a sudden he magically had a cough. So if it continues until tomorrow, then I'll call the vet, but he seems fine. He's still eating. He's still acting normal. So Montreal, where I live, went into another lockdown. We've kind of been in a lockdown since all restaurants have been closed since um, October. They were supposed to be closed for a month, but they have been closed since then. And then starting Christmas day, all close, all stores were closed. And then you could only buy essential items in stores, which doesn't make sense because I literally bought a new wow. Dyson vacuum, which is so amazing by the way, I'll show it to you guys. This vacuum, it was so expensive. Like I literally cried after buying it, but it is so good. I used it to clean my baseboards yesterday cause I have, I don't know. I just like have an obscene amount of dust in my house, but I was allowed to buy that this week when everything was closed and you were only supposed to be able to buy essential items. By the way, don't mind his fur. We've been working on it. Um, he has officially been diagnosed with alopecia X and I've been researching remedies. I bought his, the shampoo for him. I bought the melatonin for him but there is no cure for alopecia, so we're just working on it. So Montreal went into full lockdown on Christmas where you couldn't buy central items, but somehow I was able to buy a vacuum, like who made up these rules? All small businesses are closed. And then I woke up on Tuesday or Wednesday and they announced that um, we were going into even stricter lockdowns and we're getting a curfew. So many things that bother me about this situation the first being that the borders are open people in montreal are leaving they're going to miami 
They're going to these places, and especially in Miami, oh my God, it made me so mad. Uh, personally, I don't think anyone should be traveling, but if you did decide to travel, at least do it safely. Like, at least be socially distanced, especially when we live in a place where small businesses have been closed for so long and have suffered so much. We live in a place where restaurants have been closed from October, restaurants have closed, people have lost their businesses, people have lost their homes. Nurses and doctors are working around the clock in COVID units, and you're going to go maskless in Miami at a club how selfish are you it is disgusting and if you feel personally attacked because you were in Miami and you are going against restrictions and having huge parties on Christmas and New Year's and you feel personally attacked by what I'm saying then good because people are dying people are dying doctors and nurses are working around the clock this is a freaking global pandemic and you're going to Miami I had to unfollow because I couldn't look at it I couldn't look at it. And yes, influencers from Montreal. I'm sorry, I said it, it's gross. Like I said, I don't think anyone should be traveling, but if you have a home somewhere and you travel there safely, if you take all the precautions and you are safe, then fine. But do not be in a club in Miami. And when they announced this on Wednesday, I literally started crying. Like I tried to film and I couldn't, like I couldn't stop crying thinking of all of the businesses that have suffered and the nurses and doctors. I don't know. It's such a hard situation all around. Not that I think that everything they're doing is right, but come on, like just use your common sense. Another thing that I wanted to do in the new year was really get organized with my planner and stuff. So I got a bunch of new planner stuff from Cloth and Paper. They're where I always buy all my planner stuff. And I wanted to do a little haul. I got a bunch of post-its just, just to make my planner look a little bit more exciting. I got these brown ones. You guys know how obsessed with brown I am. So I got a bunch of little squares. Um, and then I got a to-do sticky note just to you know add to pages i got these cute little looking file ones i got this if i wanted a message i don't know they were just so cute all her stuff is so cute i couldn't say no i got these personal ones which are just like lined i like these if i ever need to make lists and then i got a today one which just instead of having like a ruler that says today it was just like a page and then i got um the inserts sorry my lighting is so bad by the way personal 2021 dated planner oh 2021 that's really cute so i'm just gonna put them all in I saw this website online where you can literally like design your own planner. It ended up being like really expensive. So I just went with my usual planner inserts. I actually got something a little bit different. I'm gonna add my little front thingy and then I'm gonna go to today's date. Alrighty. Okay, so I'll take you through. This is probably gonna bother you. Um, okay, so the front. Daily Planner 2021. Okay, so January, and then, then every month there's a quote. So this one says, success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. Very cute. So the difference between this one I got and the one I used to get is that I used to get ones that look like this, but I wanted a little bit more organization to the day. So I got new ones. And then for every day you have three things, and then you have your to-do list. Then you have notes and then you have a thing for schedule. So you just have more space overall. I'm so excited to use my new little sticky notes. Not sure where I'm gonna use them. Wow, this, this pen writes so well. I will leave it linked down below. If you like a really thin pen, you're gonna love this. All right, so I think I've talked your ear off enough for now. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I think I'm gonna make some dinner because it's five and I like eating a little bit earlier in the day. Oh, I didn't talk about my treadmill and I got a lot of questions about that. I think I'm gonna talk about that tomorrow because I wanna show you guys it during the day and I'm also gonna do a workout in the morning. So for the rest of the night, I'm just going to, I have leftovers from yesterday's HelloFresh. I made Moroccan chicken yesterday. Honestly, it wasn't my favorite HelloFresh meal, but I have it as leftovers, so I think I'm just gonna eat it. 
maybe with some tzatziki because it wasn't my favorite. I'm not even gonna lie. I think I cooked the chicken too long. I think it was very dry and I like dry chicken, but it was like chewing on a rubber band. So I think I'm gonna have that even though I'm not hungry. I like eating before I get starving because then I don't just eat like a bunch of junk, you know? Oh my gosh, these, they feel kind of like little Listerine things, even though I don't even know where, what I would do with this. I don't know what, what's the point of this? Yesterday I did all of my laundry. I've never done so much laundry in my life. I think I literally did 10 loads of laundry. So I think I'm gonna go finish that up. I have one load left to do. So I definitely wanna get that done today. And I might take a bath because my sister for Christmas bought me this bath bomb. Actually, I'll show you. I have so much soap. Like, I don't know, do my friends think I smell bad? Cause for Christmas I got so much freaking soap. Nolan, my best friend, gave me this soap. And then my sister bought me the Glossier bar of soap. What else did she get me for Christmas? She got me more soap, Sugar Sugar Chef. Like, should I ask her if I smell? Because I don't know why she's buying me so much soap. Winter Wonderland hand sanitizer. Oh no! My tanning drops, how did that, did I do that? Obviously I did that, how did that happen? I'm gonna try to scoop that back in there because I don't want to waste that. <laughs> um, this is what I was talking about. She got me this essential oil mustard bath that I thought I might use later. And then she also got me this little Glossier cream, which look how cool the packaging is, wait. Look at that. Alrighty, so this tripod is really not tall enough. I have my little medicine box. So I get a lot of questions um, about how I curl my hair on the daily. So I thought I would just show you guys quickly. Um, my hair is like pin straight because I got it retaped literally yesterday. My hair was falling out. My favorite, favorite, favorite Favorite curling iron, I got this for my mom for Christmas, is the GHD Curve Curling Iron. It is the best. It holds my curls for so long. It takes no time to heat up. It's not plugged in, so that might that might help. GHD was like my favorite thing ever. When I was in high school, I would only straighten my hair, and I had a pink GHD curling iron that was like my whole life. Sounds like my washing machine is gonna tumble through the floor and whack me in the head. A lot of people wrap their hair around, but I don't like doing that. What I do is I'll run the straightener, the straightener, run the curling iron, oh, you can't really see me. I'll run the curling iron over it once, and then you start at the top, and you use the clamp, and you do a turn, and you hold it there for a sec, and then you kind of slightly open the clamp, move it down, and turn, and you keep doing that until the whole piece of hair is wrapped in and I leave a little bit out at the end and you just, I kind of like gently touch it. Once it's hot, I let go and you have like a pretty curl like that. I do all of the curls on this side of my head facing away, I don't alternate them. And then all of the curls on this side of my head facing away, I don't alternate them. I feel like it just gives more of a sleek, elegant, pretty look rather than like a beachy, messy, natural kind of look. So Darren left for work and he came back in to tell me that there's someone literally in the recycling bin, which is so deep, picking stuff out of the recycling bin. I don't know if it's to like bring the, I think he, it looked like he was like picking out wine bottles and like cans and stuff. All you can see was his head peeking out and his arm like taking stuff out of the recycling bin. I'm gonna show you guys my treadmill in a second. 
it's very compact very sm like small and that's what i needed it was also stupidly expensive but i needed something that was really small really compact and also had an incline so but let's see what but i got this thing okay i got this little set on amazon i saw someone on instagram like a workout attention i swear so basically i saw someone on instagram with this basically they're like little bands oh this one's very tight they're like little bands and you connect them to your feet and then you can do like a bunch of different butt workouts these are very tight this thing for your door so because i can't have like a whole machine in my condo you take this thing and you put it in the door and then you attach your little this one's too small but you attach the wire and you can use your door as like a place to do your exercises i guess just showing you this might be a little bit more helpful <laughs> okay so this is the treadmill you can see it folds up really really nice and then to move it, there's wheels going in all directions. So all you have to do, it's hard with one hand, but it literally moves so easily. This is what it looks like. Don't mind my recycling over there. So here you have your incline, your calories, your time. And this is how far you've gone, how many steps you've taken and how fast you're going. So these buttons are your incline. You have two set incline, but it goes all the way up to 12. I don't think it's as high as like a gym incline, but it's a pretty good incline, like I'm sweating. So I think I'm gonna do one of the Fitness Plus treadmill workouts today. They also have less expensive ones if you don't want an incline. Okay, so if you go into the Fitness app, you can see your obviously fitness, and then in this little bottom part, there's a Fitness Plus, and that's where you can see all the workouts. I think they have three months free. Um, so today, I think I'm gonna start with a treadmill workout. Maybe I'll do this one, and then I think I'm gonna do also a strength workout. Ooh, what's happening with my voice? Okay, you guys, I'll see you after my workout. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> the first workout I did was with Sam, was treadmill with Sam. It was a 10 minute treadmill workout, and oh my gosh, I was sweating. Apparently, Daisy Keach also has a really good butt workout, so maybe I'll do that. We'll see. We'll see, I'll check in with you after. Okay, so workout's done. I feel amazing, I'm so happy I did that. It was a quick workout. I only did the 10 minutes on the treadmill, the 10 minute strength training with uh, Apple Fitness Plus, and then I did a 10 minute booty workout, and my booty is killing, like literally killing. And then I took Leo on a quick 10 minute walk. He's eating breakfast now. He actually, I'm like the queen of food delivery services. <laughs> if I don't have to go to the grocery store, I won't because I truly hate going to the grocery store. But he has been eating this food right here. Tender, it's from Cabo. It's all freshly cooked food. He gets the chicken and the beef recipe. It gets delivered right to your door. I wanted to talk about this. This is the Revive Smoothies. So when I first tried these, I didn't add any protein powder in it and it honestly wasn't very good. It was okay, it just wasn't amazing. They have a bunch of different smoothies. This is also like a subscription service. They don't just have smoothies, they also have like um, oats, they have little bowls like with rice and grains, but I have been loving their smoothies. They are a billion times better when you add a protein in them. So this is the pina colada smoothie. It has pineapple, cauliflower, banana, coconut yogurt, sugars, juice pineapple, and psyllium Cil husk so all you do is obviously dump it in you can see that like the coconut yogurt is all frozen there and then okay and then this has been my favorite protein recently it's from the company welco i have the chocolate and the vanilla i use the chocolate protein look how pretty this packaging is honestly the packaging is what suckered me in but the protein powder is actually really really good so I use the uh, chocolate one in their chocolate mint smoothie and it tastes like chocolate mint ice cream. It is so good. And then in like the coconut or the ginger smoothies or their berry smoothies, I use vanilla. They have a really fun like dragon fruit smoothie. So I just add one scoop, that's all I need. Then I add 
almond milk. You want to add a good amount because there's a lot of stuff in here. I love, love, love my Nutribullet. It makes it so easy just to make a smoothie. Okay, so then you can either put it back in your little cup. If you have to take it to go, there's a little spot to put a straw. And on my first order, I did, they did send me like a stainless steel straw, but I just drink it out of this cup. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna go have this. Um, maybe start doing some of my emails. I get to check some stuff off my planner, which is my favorite part of the day. And then I have to get ready. Getting ready has become my least favorite part of the day. I used to enjoy and love getting ready, and now it's like the part I dread of the day. My body is in so much pain from my workout yesterday. Um, it feels really good. I don't know why I love sleeping when I have like a muscle pains like from working out i don't know what it is i was answering your guys's comments i posted a picture on instagram i'm trying to get better with my content creation i do want to start posting on tiktok even though i don't know like i post myself on youtube i post myself on instagram but something about posting on tiktok makes me feel very vulnerable I want to but i feel like everyone on there is so creative and so funny that it's like a lot of pressure but i think that i'm gonna start like just some fashion some tricks some tips some fun things maybe like a bougie on a budget series and the worst part is that whenever i try to use tiktok it's like i feel like a grandma trying to use a microwave like i can't figure the app out like i cannot if it's <laughs> It just seems so difficult to post on TikTok. I don't know why, I don't know why. Okay, I need to get better. My 20, my goal for January is to post like five TikToks. Like I want to actually start posting on TikTok. That's where it's at right now and I love TikTok. I spend so much time on TikTok. I might as well also be posting on TikTok. And one of my really close friends, Michelle, is like really popular on TikTok. So maybe I'll have him come and give me like a TikTok lesson um, because he's very good at it and I'm just very not. So I just made my coffee um, and I was watching Trisha Paytas. I've been obsessed with Trisha Paytas. I've been a Trisha Paytas fan forever, as long as I can remember. Like I remember when she, like I, for years and years and years, I've been a Trisha Paytas fan. Like not a fan, but I just like watch her videos. I find her amusing. And I was listening to her Frenemies podcast with Ethan. And you guys know, like, I don't listen to music. It's just a fact about me. Like, there's never a time in my life where I, like, just want to put music on. I'd much rather be listening to a podcast, be listening to an audiobook. I love Audible. But, like, music just doesn't do it for me. And I feel like whenever I tell someone that, like, my boyfriend, my friends, they think I'm literally insane. And people who listen to music while they study? How? Like, I can't even look for an address on a building with music. Like, that is, I don't know why. Look, what kind of animal am I? I have stuff everywhere. By the way, I got this new vacuum. It is the V11 Absolute Vacuum. It is their newest one, I think. It is massive. Like compared to my other one, this this is gigantic. But they said it had two times the sucking power. Okay, so I just finished cleaning downstairs. I had a little bit of leftovers for lunch and now I'm moving upstairs. The thing I really wanna to tackle today, well, last week I really went through and cleaned my whole laundry room. I have this big, and now I have this big thing of socks that I have to somehow figure out and match up. Socks are my worst nightmare, I hate them, but okay. If you tell my boyfriend that I showed you this, we can't be friends. Because when I first started dating my boyfriend, his clothes smelled so good. Like, he didn't really wear cologne, but the smell of his clothes, I was just like, what is this? Like, what do you use to wash your clothes? He wouldn't tell me, okay? It was like his secret. In his friend group, he was like known to have the best smelling clothes. And finally, I was like, I need to know what your secret is. Like, you need to tell me or I 
I need to break up with you because I can't, we can't have these secrets, okay? So now I'm going to tell you guys what the secret is. But if you tell him that I told you, we're going to have a problem. I don't think he watches my vlogs, but if he does, I'm going to get in trouble, but it's worth telling you. So his secret is he uses Tide Original, regular original, and then he uses Snuggle fabric softener and you have to put a lot of fabric softener like look i will not be without snuggle you also need the snuggle dryer sheets and this is how obsessed i am with the smell i have snuggle air fresheners this is how obsessed i am with this smell by the way i just organized this it didn't always look this organized i'm actually quite a mess then in here i have all of his gaming stuff He's a huge nerd. And um, yeah, that's what's in my laundry room. Up there is just like a mess and we're not gonna look at that. I got these curtains from Ikea. They're like a really nice texture, but they're really pretty. I like that they don't make it completely black out. And then yesterday I had to remove the curtain rod to higher towards the ceiling. It really makes the room look a lot bigger. Anyways, my room's a mess, so I'm quickly gonna tidy it up and make this bed because this is not this is not good so let's make the bed now and it's clean i always feel so much better when my bed is made. okay so today has been a not so productive day but also productive i had a meeting at 11 um but i got ready i got a ton of new track suits i don't know if you can tell from brandy melville which I don't know if I'm gonna do a whole haul on, but from what I can tell so far, their sweatpants and sweatsuits are super, super high quality and super comfortable, like some of the most comfortable I own. So I think we might have a new favorite in town. I'm not gonna go so far to say it's better than Aritzia, but they are cheaper than Aritzia, so, and I am really enjoying it. It's like a cropped little, it's like a cropped little zip up hoodie and then matching sweatpants and they have a ton of different colors that's not the point of why i'm here today i'm here today because oh, i got my huge order from nature market and i wanted to unbox it with you guys so nature market is my favorite place in the world here in montreal we don't have a ton of fun health food stores at least not nearby to me where they have like a ton of fun snacks i'm so jealous of you guys in the states where you have like trader joe's and whole foods your life must be so fun like i can't even imagine the fun that you have at a grocery store so nature market has a ton of different um, snack options, food options, just like healthier options. So I ordered a ton of things because I have a new favorite. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh my God, you guys, look how much I freaking ordered. This box is huge. I'm gonna go through it quickly because I don't want to be here all day and I know I will be, but I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing I see are these little cauliflower bites, real cauliflower inside. It's kind of like how you have olives, but it's cauliflower. Um, these are but I just want something quick. I can add them to salads or whatever or just eat them alone. I personally really love them. I got Manuka honey lollipops for when I just want something sweet. I'm not saying all of these are the healthiest. I just think they all sounded really yummy. This was a free gift. It is vegetable rice. It says rice made from vegetables, lemon pepper. That was a free gift. These are, ooh. These are Snickerdoodle Keto Mini Cookies. I got Milk Chocolate Skinny Dipped Peanuts. I love these because, as you can see, it's a light coating on your peanuts. You're not having like so much chocolate when you do want to indulge a little. I got these little carrot sticks. I love this brand. This brand has a ton of different stuff. They have organic kale chips. They have carrot sticks. They have cauliflower chips, which like are so good. Cool ranch kale chips and then ranch carrot sticks. I'm definitely gonna try those. I love getting fun snacks. These are mochi sea salt snack bites. I wanna try these now. 
I remember my sister getting these and they were so, ooh, this is different than what I imagined. Okay, yeah. These are really good. I got these little cheesy crisp and garlic herb. I love cheese, so those are great. Ramen to try. I got some more of the little vegetable packs. Okay, these are my favorite. They're the cauliflower sea salt bites. These are so good. Um, and they also had crunchy mango bites, which I thought were interesting. Peanut butter and jelly peanuts. These are really good. Like I had the pe the dark chocolate peanut butter almonds. They were amazing. I got one of these for my sister and one for me. They're kraut crisps and dill pickle. So I got two of those. They're made from sauerkraut, apparently. These plantain chips, I love, love, love these. I used to eat them all the time all the time as a kid. These were the ones I was talking about. These are amazing. The Skinny Dip Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Almonds. They're so good. Peanut Butter Filled Pretzels. I guess I was hungry when I was ordering this stuff. I got two um, Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn Boom Chicka Pops. One for my sister and one for myself. Wasabi Macadamias. I love wasabi. I got a bone broth soup I thought sounded really good. It is 14 hours slow cook simmer no sugar added one cup of bone broth in broccoli cheddar because there's no way I'm just drinking straight up bone broth. Um, I got more keto mini cookies and chocolate chip. I got these three things. I got two monk fruit sweeteners in Caramel macchiato and then French vanilla for my coffee. I'm gonna try and then I got these water drops um, With stevia water enhancer. Hopefully make my water a little tastier Now this is what I wanted to talk about. I included this in my favorites video. They are the quest protein chips I ordered them kind of like a joke and they ended up being delicious like so good tasted exactly like a Dorito or like a real chip. So I wanted to try a couple of them. They're not expensive, um, but like for this whole bag of chips, there's 140 calories, five grams of carbs, 19 grams of protein, and 4.5 grams of fat. So I got, the, all of them are kind of the same. I got sweet chili. I got chili lime. I got ranch. I've had ranch. I got sour cream and onion. I'm super excited about that one. I got loaded taco. I got two of those because my sister wanted to try it. And then I got nacho cheese, which is also very good. For me, I like, I love healthier options to like junk food. Um, and these are amazing. The last two things I got are for my sister. She wanted me to order her some of her favorite coffee creamer, the Nut, pa nut Pods creamer. So I picked that up for her. Oh my God, I went insane. Look at this. Oh my goodness. All of this stuff. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. I have to head to the bank and then head to the office and then when I get home, I guess I'll try some of them. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, honestly. I do not know where to start. 